Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm gonna go over the iPhone 8 Plus today. I know a lot of you guys are looking at this phone because you can get it at a, a really good price right now at $300, about $300 used. And uh, this phone is three years old, but that's why you get it at a better price. And I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of using this in uh, late 2020. And uh, the pros and cons, like I said, and it is $100 cheaper than the iPhone SE. Anyways, let me uh, start off with the design. Now I have to say in 2020, uh, the design is outdated. You have huge bezels on the top and the bottom. As you can see there, um, moving on to the sides, it is a stainless steel frame. Uh, you have the volume rocker on the left. You have the speaker grills on the bottom with the lightning port. So that's the old lightning port. Um, you have your uh, slim card, your SIM card slot, and your power button right here. And it is a fairly, th it's a fairly thin phone. It feels premium. It has a glass back, just like the modern, uh, newer phones with the glass back to enable wireless charging. You have your dual lens camera right there with the telephoto and the white lens. And that's pretty much it about the design. So it has a premium feel. Now weight wise this is a heavier phone, um, it is a 8 plus so which means it's the bigger size, it's a 5 and a half, five and a half inch screen and it comes in at 8.2 ounces which is heavy in my opinion. Now is this phone good for one handed use and I have to say it is not because uh, since, since it's such a huge phone like I can only reach about 60% of the screen um, so you really have to stretch your fingers and it's not really convenient for one handed use. And moving on to the pros about this phone, uh, one good aspect is the battery life. Like this phone has a uh, 2600, 2675 milliamp battery, so that's really good for all day use and had no problems with the battery. Wireless charging, um, this also has wireless charging, which is a really modern feature, and for $300, it's a really good feature that you find in premium phones, and I really enjoyed the fact that it still has this feature and it's very convenient you don't have to plug it into a lightning cable so that's that's great that it still has this feature now this phone also has 2x zoom thanks to the telephoto lens and a lot of budget phones don't have it but this phone does have it so that's great all right moving on to the performance the a11 chip is still very good in 2020 going to 2021 web browsing was a cinch uh, just you know, just going through different tabs and checking out different web pages. Um, yeah, I didn't notice um, lag at all. It was very smooth, and so browsing was uh, still a joy. And the A11 chip didn't have any hiccups or anything like that. The A11 chip also had no problems, like uh, you know, watching YouTube um, and having multiple apps open. So here is a. Uh, video I'm watching on YouTube. It has a very nice 5.5 inch LCD screen. It's not AMOLED but it's still a very good uh, LCD screen and it's full HD uh, unlike the iPhone SE. Alright so gaming on this phone was also a breeze. Um, playing Badlands 2 here and uh, it's, it went very well. There's no hiccups and uh, I was able to uh, you know play with no lag and uh, also, I tried a few other games as well, and they all performed very well. So the A11 chip will still run your games uh, very smoothly. Another great feature that this phone has is Touch ID, which Apple no longer makes on its newer phones. And this is great, especially during COVID. Um, you know, like when you want to unlock your phone, you could just uh, unlock it with Touch ID. Um, but, you know, like with the phones with the Face ID, you'd have to enter in your PIN, which is uh, annoying at this time. So it's another great feature to have. Overall, I would definitely would recommend this phone. Um, it's if you can get this at a good deal, around two to three hundred dollars. It's a great deal, and great battery. Um, you know, like for everyday tasks such as media consumption, gaming, and web browsing, like this phone will meet all your needs. Um, however, if you're looking for a smaller phone with Face ID and a better camera, you know, like I'd recommend you probably want to buy a newer phone but since it's being sold at a discount right now I can easily recommend this purchase uh, going into 2021 uh, you know like it meets all your basic needs and overall it's still a great phone 
anyways guys thanks for watching this video i hope it was informative stay safe and uh, catch you guys in the next video all right peace out